2022 has suddenly surprised us. They surprised us by re-releasing Race Damage to the King, doing Finish Line McQueen as a single for the first time, releasing a new fan from the first Cars movie, Geet Code, which they have not done since, I think, I want to say 2010. I think that's the last time we got any new Race fans. Mostly everything else has been re-releases. But, Timmy T2 Stroke getting his 2022 release this year is not one of those surprises. He's one of the most consistently released fans ever since 2010 when he was born, pretty much. He was in a 2010 9 pack alongside Lightning McQueen, The King, Chick Hicks, Sally Potrowski, Kevin Shiftwright, Dash Boardman, Tim Brimmer, and either Hoover or House of Moon, one of those two. I can never tell who it was, but yeah, he has not a new release, but he is a new variant. Not only is he a new variant from Thailand, but he's also a unibody. But let's quickly go over his appearance in the movie. There he is in Cars 1. He's actually seen right next to Keith Cole, who, like I said, got released this year. So I think it's pretty cool that they actually released him and Keith together because obviously they were seen in the same scene together. Now, since I already talked about the releases for Timothy, we don't really need to do that, and we can get straight onto the review. Now, as you can see, his mouth is wide open. He's cheering McQueen. He's really liking McQueen's performance in the LA Speedway. He's like, let's go! He's actually winning! Woo! Yeah, that's probably what I was saying. Well, I would scream, but I mean, I really don't want to straight my voice. <laughs> you can see he has his headlights, his grill, his very angry eyes. So that's pretty cool. You can see that he has the 95 bolt on his head and on his flag as well. Which I'm a little disappointed of. They just kind of copied and pasted the flag, the hat from this and just made it into a flag. I wish they made something different. But I don't know. I guess that's the same for all, all the fans. Now, the reason why I say he's a new variant, not only from Thailand, is because he's actually a unibody from Thailand. Whereas... The old Chinese releases, even the ones in 2014 and 2015, he'd always been segmented, with him, which basically meant he has a, he had a mouth play, which is this cracker going across the car. And Mattel loved doing mouth plays back in 2010 and 2012, and, and a couple of years before uh, 2012, they loved doing mouth plays so that, because it was much cheaper for them to, much cheaper, easier for them to swap out the amount of one car and put it on another car, even though... I don't think Timothy has another car that shares his model as a diecast, so I don't know why they did that. But thankfully, oh, sorry for moving the camera, guys. Thailand, Thailand has been giving a lot of the cars that had mouth plates unibodies. Like, for example, all the Hotshot McQueen, they did that for him. Raul Saul finally got upgraded to a unibody. And Timothy is one of the many cars that has joined that selection. So that's pretty cool. That's one good thing Thailand has done aside from making Mato entirely metal. You can see. That other than the flags, though, he's like a very basic car model that you see in real life. His mirrors are sticking out. He has his nice silver rims. The black part of the bumper. Well, not his bumper, his sides. His black fenders. He's actually kind of raised up a little bit. Because if you compare him to, uh, say, oh, let's just say Maddie McGill. Yeah, you can see that there's quite a bit of gap between the tires and the fenders. Whereas for Maddie, not that much. So pretty cool that he's actually hoisted up a little bit. See his windows, his windows, like back windows, the head, the taillights look, eh, they look kind of bad honestly. They, they, the headlights are much better on Timothy than the taillights are. And his license plate reads, let's take a look at that, BI324, so an initial and a birthday, I'm not sure who that would be. And it takes the box reads, that's way too small. Let me see if we can read it off camera. Yeah, yeah, that's way too small. Yeah, I can't read it, but it's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice license plate. Here's the other side, and there is a look at the base. So P50A, so he's made in the 50th week of 2021 at the A factory. So he picks up a highlight, copy on Mattel, the wheels. And yeah, that about does it for Timothy here. Not a whole lot to say about him. He's just your basic fan. He's been released, released a lot, so I'm sure you all would have seen him by now. 
but it's pretty nice to get as a diecast. And I'm glad that I finally added, added him to my collection. Now before we head off, I do want to compare him to a couple of other cards like Dolan Vanderson, who was also released this year, but she was first released in 2016, then 2017, and now 2022. So this is a King fan, whereas Timothy is a Lightning McQueen fan. Okay, cool. They are different models. And they have different license plates, thank god. I'll also link my review to Dollar in the description below because I believe I haven't reviewed him reviewed her, I should say. Here's Maddie McGill. This is the Cards 3 McQueen fan. But I don't know why they replaced me and Tia with her. Like okay, not the hate on Maddie, but like come on, did you really have to replace me and Tia with Maddie? Like, could you do you have Bone in the movie? I don't know. Yeah, that's like that's like the one disappointment that I had with Cards 3. And by the way, her license plate says the kid. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but what I was saying about Cards 3 is that they got rid of a lot of the classic characters like Cory Tubowitz, gone. Maddie uh, me and Tia, gone. Uh who who else? Uh Mini Me Need Van? Gone. Like at least of course too. Well people hated that movie, but at least they had those characters in the movie. Granted they they appeared in the end, but they still had him. Here's Christina Wheelan. Kinda has a similar mount actually. Just not as big as Timothy's. But yeah, she I believe Christina has a I don't know. I'm just gonna call him Zay for now. They do have a piston cup flag as opposed to specific races, so she's more just just into the piston cup, and she's not really for any race in general. Yeah, she's very nice. She's very underrated, I feel. She did get get a release in the eleven pack with uh Finish Line McQueen and all those guys, but I think she was supposed to get a Thailand release, but that got canceled. I'm not sure though. Here's Matthew. True Blue McCrew, who also got released this year. And yeah, he's one of those cards that got upgraded to a unibody because this is, a, this is an old Chinese version, which means he has the mouth plate and the eye plate. So, yeah, Todd has been doing a really good job of that. He has no license plate, Matthew, so that's pretty odd and a little suspicious if you ask me. And finally, well, probably my favorite fan. Wilma Flats, pretty dang cool. Yeah, she was one of the first cards I got for 2022 when I was sick with, you know what, at the, at the beginning of the year. Don't worry, I'm fine now, but back in the day, I, yeah, I wasn't the best. So, yeah. Hey, see, this is what I was talking about. Uh, Oh yeah, she even has the same flag as Timothy, actually, so, yeah, it's very disappointing, but at least her flag's different. So you just use the same flag for the... Yeah, I think Wilbur is due for a Thailand release, honestly. She got released from Vietnam, but not Thailand yet. And actually, she was... I don't know why I call her she well, He was supposed to be released in 2010 with Fixed Eyes, but... He got cancelled, but thankfully he was re released in early 2017, so he's one of the few cars that actually ran it out before Cars 3 came out. And just for the funnies, he was made to li with Lightning Bolt. So yeah, kind of like Cars 3 released, kind of like Maddie, but... I just wanted to show her because I mean, it is a Lightning McQueen fan. The bolts are kind of similar. Kind of. Oh. Man, I just wants to go back for some reason. And last but definitely not least, here he is next to McQueen. Yeah, I think he looks pretty nice with McQueen. So I think he looks nice. So yeah, that about does it for the comparisons and review of Timothy Tutro. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more upcoming content. See you all next time. Until then, this is Joe Quick Tire, signing out.